Good morning friends. Today's topic is Marxism and its relevance in modern society. Developed by Karl Marx, Marxism focuses on the class struggle between the bourgeoisie that is owners of the means of production and the proletariat that is working class. It argues that the capitalist system perpetuates inequality and exploitation. Marx envisioned a revolutionary change where the proletariat would overthrow the bourgeoisie and establish a classless society. Let's discuss Marxism and its relevance in modern society through some suitable examples. Number 1 is global supply chains. The globalization of production and supply chains has accentuated class dynamics in modern society. In industries such as fast fashion, electronics or corporate agriculture, multinational corporation often outsource labor to developing countries with lower wages and fewer regulations. This practice can perpetuate the exploitation of workers in those countries while generating significant profits for the capitalist class in wealthier nations. Next is housing crisis. In many urban centers, housing affordability has become a pressing issue. Developers and landlords often prioritize profit over meeting the housing needs of the working class. This results in skyrocketing rents, gentrification and homelessness, further worsening social inequalities and class divisions. Social movements and class consciousness. Modern social movements advocating for workers' rights, fair wages and wealth redistribution somewhere align with Marxist principles. Movements advocating for fair wages, better working conditions and workers' rights such as fight for minimum wages or the global movement for climate justice demonstrate a growing awareness of class struggle and a desire for a more equitable society. Simultaneously, it reflects the ongoing struggle between the bourgeoisie and the proletariat in the contemporary society. Exploitation in the gig economy Marxism also sheds light on exploitation in modern work arrangements such as the gig economy. Many workers in platforms like Ola, Uber or food delivery services like Zomato, Swiggy etc often lack employment benefits, face precarious working conditions and have limited bargaining power. Marxists argue that these workers are being exploited by capitalist platforms, extracting surplus value from their labor while denying them adequate wages and protection. Corporate Influence in Politics Marxism also addresses the concentration of power in the hands of the bourgeoisie, including their influence on politics. In modern society, the close relationship between corporations and political institutions can be easily observed. Wealthy individuals and corporations often wield significant influence over policy decisions through lobbying, campaign contributions and revolving door practices. This consolidation of power allows the bourgeoisie to protect their interest and maintain the status quo, hindering the realization of a more equitable society. Global Capitalism and Imperialism Marx argued that capitalism would expand globally and result in imperialism, where dominant nations exploit and dominate weaker ones. Today, we see economic globalization and the dominance of multinational corporations often from developed countries in exploiting resources and labor in developing nations. This unequal relationship perpetuates economic dependency and reinforces global inequalities. In summary, while Marxism provides a valuable lens to examine social issues such as power dynamics, inequality and exploitation in modern society, it is crucial to acknowledge that society is complex and influenced by various factors. Multiple perspectives 
and theories can certainly contribute to our deeper understanding of social dynamics. By examining relevant examples through a Marxist lens, we can critically analyze the underlying structures and mechanisms that perpetuate inequality and exploitations in modern society. Marxism offers insight into the class struggle, economic disparities, labor exploitation and the concentration of wealth and power. However, again, I would say it is important to recognize that a comprehensive understanding of society requires considering diverse sociological perspective that could shed light on different dimensions of social life. This is for today friends. I hope the video would definitely enhance your knowledge. Have a nice day. Thank you. Jai Hind.